What's going on guys? Ryan Dagger here from ZeroToVJ.com. Uh, back with another live stream. Uh, this is day 21 of making visuals with uh, Resolum, uh, now using Resolum 6. Um, if you were watching the uh, live stream yesterday, uh, there were some weird audio issues where I had a robotic voice, but hopefully that is uh, that is fixed now. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just get right into this here. Um, I'm gonna set my timer. So 15 minutes, and we're gonna see what we can uh, what we can make using just Resolume here. <clears throat> so this is what uh, ended up coming up with uh, yesterday, and I've got the um, Twitch, yeah, Twitch turned off, uh, which looks, yeah, adds a lot of, adds something pretty cool. Uh, something that's pretty sweet about this uh, new version. Before we get into what we're making here. Um, something that's pretty sweet is that the uh, recorder uh, actually works really well now. Um, this is uh, what you're seeing here is a uh, saved clip. Uh, it's in photo uh, JPEG format. Um, and what you're seeing here is the recording from um, from this uh, clip uh, using Resolume's built-in recorder. Um, how this works basically uh, when you when you record something, uh, it'll go to, if you go to your general settings, uh, this is your recording directory. So in my case, it's going to my documents, uh, arena six folder. Um, but if you find that, uh, you know, creating these, uh, live visuals can, is taxing on your uh, computer, you can, uh, record it so that it doesn't have to work as hard off the GPU. And now you've got this, um, uh, rendered out or recorded clip. Uh, obviously the, the caveat to that is that you can't, um, whatever you record is kind of what you get. Um, whereas here you can obviously kind of tweak and change this stuff, um, you know, in real time or change it as you see fit. Uh, but whatever you have recorded here is, is what you're left with. Um, the other thing that's kind of funny too, is that if you are uh, primarily trying to use this as a tool to uh, make your clips, um, there's not really an easy way to, to stop recording after like a set interval. So if you were aiming to make, you know, all your loops, uh, you know, 16 seconds long so that they work out nicely to be a, you know, a seamless 120 BPM a loop, uh, it doesn't really work like that. It basically is all manual. So you have to press record to start it, press record to stop. So just something to keep in mind um, if that's something that you're gonna try and try and use Resolume for. Uh, so I'm gonna turn that off and let's go to, let's actually go to our effects here. And we're gonna use one of the uh, new effects that's built into Resolum 6, which is the shaper effect. Um, if you watched the, the live stream that I did of the some of the exciting new features in Resolum 6, uh, this, this was one of them. Um, and this effect, uh, just a quick recap, basically lets you uh, create shapes uh, right inside uh, Resolum. And then obviously gives you a lot of controls over, um, over the shape itself. We can make, uh, you can subtract from that. Um, and actually that right there actually looks kind of, <laughs> already as a starting point, that is uh, kind of cool. Let's, let's maybe do like a, let's just do a red. <clears throat> yeah, a little harsh. <laughs> Go to our color here and we'll make it completely black, just a tinge off there. Um, very close though. And got our scale here. And let's, again, let's use the BPM sync here just because of how uh, easy it is to, um, to use, these, uh, use these effects with the, uh, or time them with the beats now that we've got this uh, Ableton link here. <clears throat> and let's get it so that it's uh, just kind of closing. Oops. Check that out a bit. And about 26 is where we're getting uh, getting that uh, kind of full close here. 
And again, let's go to our envelope and we'll scroll down and right click on the uh, point on the envelope. And let's actually make this one a little, uh, let's go to the exponential in and out. here uh, again I'm, I'm pretty new to uh, pretty new to these uh, effects so I'm still kind of wrapping my head around them as well <clears throat> Let's try subtract. Actually, let's go to intersect. And this is a, so this is pretty sweet. Um, what you can basically do uh, using this combine uh, parameter here, um, I'm just gonna try and I'm just gonna pause this real quick so you can kind of see what's happening. Um, so basically uh, the shape effect gives you uh, obviously two shapes to work with. Right now we've got a hexagon and we've got this uh, cross here. So if we go to, uh, let's go to subtract. So if we go to subtract, we can see these these two shapes here. We've got our cross and we've got our hexagon. Um, and depending on this uh, setting here, basically at the point that these, um, at the point that these two shapes uh, intersect, uh, this, depending on what this combination setting is, will determine what happens. So basically, once this X um, meets the hexagon, you're going to see that it's going to start basically uh, like sub, yeah, subtracting or like kind of over overtaking the um, overtaking the uh, the hexagon. So it it kind of blacks it out. Um, if we had it at add, it's gonna it's gonna go. Um, once it meets up with that hexagon, it's basically gonna intersect with it and start um, kind of morphing out from that point and kind of adding um, adding to it, if, if that makes sense. Um, and then intersect, um, instead, of, instead of removing the hexagon, it's gonna meet it and basically morph into it uh, once it reaches that point. <clears throat> and then morph is... Yeah, I'm not not quite sure how how morph works in this case. Okay, <laughs> I just I just noticed this option here. Um, so when you turn on morph, uh, you get this you get this new phase option, and morph is exactly kind of what it sounds like. Um, you can animate this so that uh, on the far left here, it's it's the shape or it's the cross shape. And then as you move this across, it's gonna morph into your uh, your top shape, which in this case is the uh, hexagon. But if we had this as a circle, it would do that too. Um, so as we drag this back, it's gonna morph into this uh, into this X or whatever we have in that shape position. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, again, if you are at all familiar with um, After Effects, this is the kind of thing that you would normally have to do in that program, but Luckily, you can do it straight within uh, Resolume here. <clears throat> uh, so I spent a bit of time explaining what uh, what was happening there, but let's let's actually get to uh, making our thing here. Now that looks, yeah, <laughs> it is super cool to have this have this uh, new effect in here. Um, a lot of of possibilities. 
Um, we got a triangle here. Let's let's go back to our uh, cross. And we'll set our top one back to the, uh, <clears throat> actually let's try setting it to a triangle and not feeling that. So let's go back to the, let's go to the rectangle. And let's animate that, animate the size of the cross. And that looks <laughs> super cool. Um, so basically what we're doing right now, uh, let's animate this, uh, the rectangle shape as well. <clears throat> And what we're going to do is adjust the size down. And instead of having it uh, grow, we're going to point this one. We're going to make the animation move backwards um, so that you've got this uh, shape that is so the X kind of pops up and then it and then the rectangle kind of shrinks uh, shrinks down. Let's uh, adjust this rotation here as well. And again, let's go to our envelope here and let's get some, uh, let's get some curves going. That one's a bit much, so let's smooth that out a bit by using the quadratic in and out. And let's add an envelope to the size for this uh, rectangle here as well. <clears throat> and what else can we do with this? At the 12 minute mark, so let's maybe find a way to wrap this up. Let's add the noisy effect. And we've just added a mirror. And using this uh, point grid, we can get almost like a uh, almost like a pixelated LED type uh, type look. And yeah, let's uh, let's animate this X. This looks uh, this looks pretty cool. <clears throat> this 
one we can do maybe over a longer uh, period of time. We'll do like uh, 16 beats instead of, uh, instead of eight or four. And let's go back to our shaper here. And yeah, that looks uh, looks kind of cool. Uh, not too bad for uh, for 15 minutes. Um, yeah. So again, uh, these these um, these new envelope curves just really um, really open up a lot of possibilities for uh what you can do inside of uh resolume resolume six alone so um yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for tonight as always uh be sure to save there's still no undo function in resolume six so if this thing were to crash you'd lose your uh progress um yeah uh so thanks again for uh, tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach me on Zero to VJ uh, on the Zero to VJ Facebook page or at zero to VJ.com. And uh, tune in next time for Zero to VJ Live. Have a good night.